Hey everyone, today I have the game God of War PSP working on an iPad. So this is a standard iPad here and we have PPSSPP, the emulator, working perfectly well. And this is going to be the App Store version of this emulator. This is not a sideloaded emulator. So this is going to be the official App Store method of running this emulator. You don't have to use Alt Store, you don't have to sideload. You have none of the typical issues associated with sideloading and having to renew every seven days with a developer account. None of that stuff is necessary. It's actually quite straightforward to do. I'm going to be showing you how to pair a DualSense controller or any other Bluetooth controller, getting this working with this fantastic PPSSPP emulator, changing some of the graphics settings so it looks a lot better, and just going ahead and making sure that these games work as well as possible on your iPad. So the first thing I'm going to do is download PPSSPP by going to the App Store, and then I'm going to do a search for the word PPSSPP. If you can't find this, then I'll leave a link to this in the description. But basically, this is the free emulator. All you need to do is press the get button. It's completely free, no cost is required. And just go ahead and download this now. So once PPSSPP has downloaded, you can open it here. And then we're going to open up this emulator. And basically what we need to do now is load up some games. So for legal reasons, I cannot show you how to actually acquire these games. But if I go to my files app and I tap on here, then I've got a folder here with my PSP ISOs. You can get these from your genuine PSP UMDs or you can download them from a hacked PSP. But basically once you've got these ISO files ready, we're ready to put them into the correct place. So here, for example, I'm just gonna move these files and then I'm gonna put them onto on my iPad. So on my iPad here, we have a new folder called PPSSPP. So that's created when you launch PPSSPP for the first time. And we're gonna go ahead and put this here and then we're gonna put that in a root here. So press move. Then if I go to on my iPad, then PPSSPP, then all my ISO files are there. So I'm gonna go back into PPSSPP and then press the refresh button. And then all of those games are listed here now. As you can see, all of those are there and we can go ahead and launch a game. So what I also highly recommend that you do is that you have some kind of controller. So I'm using my PlayStation 5 DualSense controller here. I'm gonna go ahead and pair this. So I'm gonna go into settings and then we're gonna go to Bluetooth and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. And then I'm gonna put my dual sense into pairing mode by holding the option and the home button here until this starts to flash. And once that starts flashing, you'll see this dual sense wireless controller pop up here. Just go ahead and tap that. And then when this becomes a solid light, then that's fully paired up. So when we go into PPSSPP, we can now control all the interface here using just the controller. So that's probably a very good idea to do. So here I'm going to do is load up a game, God of War, Ghost of Sparta. So I've loaded up a game now, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and play. So if you're using a controller, one good idea is to go to settings. So one thing I like to do is change the rendering resolution to at least 1080p. You can even go higher if you wanted to. I like to also turn on the frame rate counter here. And then also with controls, and make sure that the auto hide buttons after delay is turned on so that it doesn't take up the screen if you're using controller. And then that's pretty much all that you need to do. Let's continue here. Then we're going to go ahead and load up a new game. So as you can see, we are loaded into the game now with the 4X resolution. Let's going to move this up a little bit so you can see that the DualSense controller is working here. And uh, here we can play a little bit. Just show you that the analog stick is working. We can do standard controls here it's holding a solid 60 fps at 4x native resolution and it looks very clean and good especially for the fact that this is an emulated game it's never designed to work on an ipad this is the m2 ipad pro works fantastically in this scenario so anyway that is how you get psp games working through the pp sspp emulator on an ipad through the app store i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one